big data and analytics. We have an enormous opportunity to get data from all kinds of things. We get data from our cell phones, our location. We get data from something called the Internet of Things. We get data from production. We get data from our own records. And when we're able to combine all of these things, it gives us an enormous insight into our customers, into our production processes, an opportunity to create competitive advantage. And I like to ask the students, can you afford to ignore this? I think this is a very important area that every company should be thinking about. Even if it's not doing anything, I think it needs to think about it. But there are lots of problems. All of this data, we're not too sure how to use it. We're not sure what questions it will answer. And perhaps it's not even being managed in the right place. At the moment, we think about data as part of the information technology department. Well, the information technology departments were developed largely for corporate systems like finance and payroll and inventory. They're precise, accurate, reliable, and they don't change. Big data is none of those things. It's imprecise, it's trends, it's feelings almost. So where do we best position the data? I think perhaps one of the most exciting things coming out of this is an opportunity to change the organization. We'll be looking for people with different skills. Maybe they'll be outsourced to consulting companies. Maybe we'll want to develop them in-house. We're going to have to change the way we allocate responsibility. People in line will want to be able to make decisions. Organizational transformation is almost certain to occur as companies pick this up. A very exciting area, and that's probably the best way that we're going to position organizations to get the most out of the data that they have available to them.